What's up, Africa? UK Prime Minister David Cameron has pissed off quite a lot of African countries recently, all because of this video. But to be absolutely clear, you are saying to, to these African countries, if you don't change your law on homosexuality, we will give you less aid. We are, yeah, we are saying it is one of the things that will determine our aid policy. So he wants equality for gays and lesbians across Africa, which is, of course, a perfectly sensible request. But blackmail? Using development aid? Come on, DC! This isn't the 17th century, man! If there was one thing that would make anti-gay rights a lunatics like Pastor Martin Semper from Uganda happy, it's an ex-colonial master trying to take the moral high ground by financially blackmailing African countries. Let's just be glad that Mr. Cameron didn't patronize the entire African continent. <laughs> Who would do that? I think these countries are all on a journey and it's up to us to try and help them along that journey. And that it's up to us to try and help them along that journey. You ignorant savage! You shall accept gays and lesbians! I just want me some money for pickles. I'm sorry, Massa. Okay, there is no easy way to say this. This next clip is terrible. 2016! <laughs> Now I could easily talk about how it's nice to see young ambitious directors pushing boundaries given their limited resources, but if I did say that, I'd be a fool! A lion fool! Nkumaji if I want your gun and I'm Wait, did that did he just kick a baby? <laughs> And for any of you guys out there thinking, that's an entirely unfair critique. Maybe this will become a cult B-movie African classic. I can tell you right now, hell no. <laughs> Last up this week is a Ghanaian pop star who is fast becoming one of the hottest acts on the West Coast. Effia originally took part in a reality music talent competition. I used to dream gentle on this file. Oh, I don't know. Oh, wait. Give me my heart. Oh, nice. Unlike that dude, Effia was actually a good contestant. She won Best Vocalist at the Ghana Music Awards this year, and 2012 is going to be massive for her. Here's one of her hit songs, Sexy Sassy Wala. Watch till the end of this week's show to see some of my favorite photographers from the upcoming Paris Photo Fair, which has a huge African focus this year. Now though, it's time to find out the winner of last week's What's Up Africa question. What was your biggest fashion mistake? The winner is YouTube user Spicy Eve, who said, one word, overalls. This week's What's Up Africa question is, I wanna blackmail you, but what's your dirty secret? My name is Iken as we care. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week for another edition of What's Up Africa. The